have called uh, this uh, press conference today yeah, to ask um, so that we want to explain what uh, is per se 2.0 going to do uh, here on, uh, from here. Now, per se, uh, we have handed out a press statement. Uh, we want to, again, thank the Rakyat for their courage and their peaceful and overwhelming support for the cause of free and fair elections and democracy that they showed on the 9th of July. However, we want to once again express our profound regret for the tragic and needless loss of life of Alayarham Baharuddin, Saudara Baharuddin Ahmad, who will forever remain in our hearts as a hero who made the ultimate sacrifice in pursuing a noble cause. We further express our regret that the six leaders of Party Socialist Malaysia continue to be wrongfully detained under the emergency ordinance. Now we have re received very troubling reports about the manner in which they are being treated and the manner in which they are being interrogated. We are very, very concerned about this and we ask and call for their immediate release. The work of Bursi 2 continues. We believe that the best way forward is for the setting up of a Royal Commission of Inquiry. We have asked for that. This Royal Commission, we believe, should consist of experts who are, in fact, uh, acceptable to the Rakya. The idea is for them to look at the entire electoral system, to look at an overhaul of the system. However, we believe that this commission should be set up to at least initially look at the eight demands of Bursi prior to the 13th general elections. There's no point setting up this commission after the 13th general election. In the interim, we call for and we invite the election commission to make a public disclosure of all the amendments to the electoral process that they had proposed to the government, which the government has rejected. We also invite and call for a public dialogue with the Election Commission on the demands of Per Se 2. It is clearly the wish of the Raya that we move forward with the agenda for electoral reform. That is our agenda. We will proceed with that. But until such reform is achieved, we ask the Raya to show their continuing support for the cause by wearing something yellow every Saturday. It doesn't matter what, it can be a yellow cloud. But we ask the Raya to peacefully show their support in this way every Saturday. We also ask the Raya to please ensure that their colleagues or friends or members of the family have registered to vote. If each of the 50,000 to 100,000 people who turned up that day ensure that another one to five people are registered who are not yet registered, this will bump up the number of registered voters. So we would call for the Raya to ensure that they have done their bit by registering to vote. Um, I think there is also uh, a serious concern on the part of the public as to the true independence of the Election Commission, given the several comments that they have made. Um, so I think this is another issue because under the federal constitution, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, young Kutan Agong is, uh, appoints persons to the Election Commission who enjoy public confidence. So the issue of public confidence is very important in relation to the Election Commission because it is stated in the Federal Constitution. 
Uh, with that, I, I open up the floor for questions. Yes. Hari ini. The, the harassment appears to be continuing. Eh? So, uh, uh, we are shocked actually that they continue to harass all those who are wearing Bersi uh, t-shirts. Bersi atau pakaian kuning saja? Bersi. Bukan pakaian kuning. Uh, that they continue to uh, uh, arrest people who are wearing the birthday t-shirts. Uh, let me tell you, uh, my understanding is, yeah, uh, ini berasas daripada order, yeah, uh, atau uh, uh, perintah yang dikeluarkan oleh uh, Ministry of Home Affairs bahawa birthday uh, tidak sah adalah uh, organisasi yang tidak sah. Tetapi apabila kami meneliti uh, gazet notification itu terdapat bahawa yang di uh, istiharkan tidak sah bukan bersih dua tetapi bersih <laughs> not dua it is bersih that has been declared illegal not bersih two oleh sebab itu kami telah pun memfailkan suatu uh, permohonan di mahkamah uh, uh, untuk uh, to, uh, to challenge yeah? challenge uh, perintah uh, oleh minister then uh, that will be uh, coming up the hearing we, we haven't got a date yet but we intend to fully pursue that uh, we are uh, still making attempts to do so I, I, I don't know that one we, we are still trying thank you Oh, uh, we are prepared to publicly debate our demands with anyone. We welcome it, in fact, because I think I think that's healthy. Uh, that's very healthy, and I think uh, that's fine. We are happy to do that. In fact, we have asked in our statement for that with the EC as well that we have a public uh, televised debate or a public debate. And then we take questions from the audience. I think that's a very healthy way forward. So kami bersedia ya untuk berbahas atau berbincang secara am, publicly. Semua tuntutan bersih. Tetapi daripada laporan di berita harian, nampaknya isi masih lagi. Uh, membuat tuntutan bahawa kami bersebelah dengan uh, uh, pihak uh, parti pembangkan dan sebagainya What does that mean? Adakah dia sedia untuk berbincang dengan kami? Dan kami telah pun uh, mengatakan di dalam uh, statement ini Bahawa if we are going to have meaningful dialogue ya, Kami ingin mengetahui apakah uh, perubahan yang telah pun dicadangkan oleh election commission uh, kepada uh, government, ya, kerajaan Apakah perubahan itu? We want to see that Dan mengapakah kerajaan menolak cadangan-cadangan itu? Kami ingin mengetahui uh, perkara itu Dan apa-apa uh, perbincangan dengan election commission uh, Cadangan kami adalah untuk uh, mengadakannya secara am, public So that members of the public can see the discussion Datuk, uh, the Petty Terrorist Association of uh, uh, Masjid India, they want to file a suit against you for damages. They say because of the Berse rally, they lost millions. I will defend it. Datuk, are there any plans to have another rally following this one? No immediate plans. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean you don't hold rallies at the drop of a hat, okay? When you do, it is for a very, very good reason. And I think the Rakyat's message is very, very clear. It's a question of whether people want to hear it. Uh, or if, uh, if they're hearing it, whether they're listening, whether they're really listening. Um, so I think uh, we should 
carry on by showing in whatever way we can support for this cause, and which is why we have said every Saturday we invite everyone to wear something yellow, uh, just to show uh, uh, peaceful support for the cause. And I think we can work it through. I mean, I am ever the optimist. We can still work these issues through. If people, instead of continuing to demonize per se, actually start listening to the Raya, because per se is about the Raya. And, and if Saturday didn't demonstrate that, then I don't know how else to, to, to make the case. Uh, that really per se is about the Raya. They do want change. Um, per se also, uh, of course, our original agenda was electoral reform. Now, it appears to be much more than that. Much more than that. It's about democracy. It's about fighting abuse of power. It is about overcoming the fear of intimidation. It is about the Rakyat Malaysia saying, we are really not afraid of your intimidation anymore. That's what per se has become. But still, we want to move this agenda for democracy, for free and fair elections. We want to move that forward quickly. Yes. yes. If the current electoral role is used in the next election, are you concerned about the integrity of the role, uh, of the role for, for the elections to be uh, questionable? Yes, that's very much uh, a concern for us. Um, and that's why we've said these are immediate demands, meaning it can be done before the 13th general election. And they are all doable. I mean, look at the demands. What if, if you look at them, uh, cleaning up the electoral roll, using indelible ink, uh, which is a cheap and safe method uh, to reduce voter fraud. Uh, we've asked for extended campaign period. I mean, why are they fighting all these things? I can't understand it, actually. Uh, because these are things that are very, very easily implement, uh, implemented. Yes, uh, it is our intention to take the case to Suhakam. We are going to call upon Suhakam to investigate all the uh, to investigate the excessive use of force against uh, the Rakyat of Malaysia on the 9th of July. Uh, uh, that is on Saturday. So that uh, is something that we're going to put forward <coughs> to Suhakam and ask them to investigate. And we do suggest people actually uh, make police reports if they have been assaulted, uh, etc. And I, I, I remember saying uh, initially that I don't quarrel with so much with the police as with those who issue the orders. But having looked at some of the videos, uh, of course, the ultimate responsibility rests with those who issue the orders. But I was alarmed that those that executed the orders also did it with unnecessary relish uh, and vigor. And uh, I, I must express my disappointment at that. Any other questions? Could you comment on uh, some of the political leaders saying your datoship must be taken off and uh, your civilian fee must be pulled off? I do not wish to comment at all. <laughs> Deborah. Hi, um, Bartla just commented that you have raised your demands with some uh, relevant parties. Can you name some of the... No, Election Commission and, uh, and of course, we've had discussions with them. We've sent memorandum to them, uh, memorandum to them. And uh, we have various discussions with various parties, Transparency International and so on. So we have, we engage with various organizations. 